Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have got 12 duplicates making their way into the future as comfortably as possible, but of course with me in charge, sometimes that gets not very comfortable indeed. Last time we went out and we explored the star map, but only managed to uncover one destroyed satellite before the lack of oxygen forced us back inside, back, back home rather, uh, and we are going to try and set this guy up so that we can send him for further further exploration and for much longer as you can see i've got some more pipe work going in place to try and get a bit more oxygen into here but i've also got another idea at the moment we are feeding our oxygen in from below it's a new feature that came with the system i like it but i don't think it's actually going to be working out too great for us so what i'm going to do is slightly rearrange the pipe so that we can actually have some oxygen coming in from this edge if we go into the rocket tree and go to the gas intake fitting allows gas to be pumped into the rocket via pipe rocket storage no we want the output then and i'm going to pop this over here if i can put it to the wall uh, and then we just need to try and figure out how to make the pipes go back look, look this, this is actually quite easy right we, we, we break this one here and we oh can we have the f7 back thank you uh, and we're going to pop that in like this this guy then goes up here and we've got a little bit of oh, 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 oh. we got we got to break that okay hopefully now that should allow a lot more gases to be coming in here flowing up and through and down we do have some dead spaces so maybe if i can figure it out better we'll be able to get some extra storage space in here yes yes we can look we need to do things like cut that one off and move Ooh, no i don't want it. i don't want the bed i want the gas pipe thanks very much oh it's not it's not it's not giving me the gas pipe all right we do things like this. Then, then we can do things like this to get a little bit of extra storage here okay i'm just gonna have to go through and do a lot of things like that we'll turn that one off i don't know whether this gives more storage space or not okay much better network much much better network we've also got a carbon dioxide detector going in place here we're going to have a mini gas pump pumping that out to the wild it's literally going into this gas pump here uh, and on the outside it then gets dumped out just out in space uh this will only be able to be dealt with when we're landed because of course this port will not work outside of that but i'm, I'm kind of fine with that so i've recently just discovered that i could move the mess table up into here and it gives me a mess hall that that's great we now got a barracks and a mess hall unfortunately the toilet area just a little bit too small only got itself 10 tiles when it needs 12 could we pull down this pneumatic door and put it i think we can i think we can if we do this and then rip this one down that might actually do us a thing and hopefully the thing it does is the th oh no this this door's not gonna it's it's actually the ladder we're gonna need to leave that door there but i, I want to know whether this would work uh the problem is industrial machinery the pump the pump is the industrial machinery so that, that's a bit of a problem there so this would work but if we uh if we stop the game at this point let that let that be built uh grab ourselves is that ripley cool we'll grab ourselves cool and go hey can you climb up can't climb up here that's a problem what if we rip down these two tiles yeah 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 yeah. let's do this instead rip down these two tiles and replace it with a door i don't know what's going to happen coming back this way but i don't think that bothers me okay with that now built can we move bishop up here yeah okay brilliant that that works out well taking a look at the room over look at that we got a washroom as well ah oh, we got rooms guys we got rooms Okay, let's see if we can now clear out all the carbon dioxide from here. Let's have a look and see what we got. Hopefully this gas is just grabbing... Mm, of course it's going to be grabbing a little bit of oxygen as well. Mm, can we live with that? I don't know. It's definitely picking up the wrong air. Wait, uh, this, this is the one I want. Let's pro go for gases. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's picking up from up top here. I wonder if we can lay it down and get it different. Yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. It's going to take a little bit of a deconstruct of these two things and a rearrangement, but that should be fine. I still feel like we have a lot of wasted space here that we could deal with somehow. Maybe put another line of tiles here. We could have a little two by two room up the top. Still could get up and down, you know, put these right here uh still i just don't know what i would put up top any suggestions are gratefully received another thing i've realized is i just don't need this liquid module anymore the gas one's still very handy because we're pumping in from the uh side port here that's good oh it needs power oh it needs power no problem we could we can sort that out direct line like that why would that not be the best one let's try and 
trim down a few of these other unnecessary lines here. I'm wondering whether it would be better to go across here, like, or let's go through the lines. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, and then we could get rid of this. The tiles, sorry, not the lines. Go through the tiles. And then we'll have even more debris that we need to clean up. But to that end, I have been trying to build a small storage container on the outside here so we can get everyone moving stuff around that that would be much better and to uh, to make that happen come on guys let's get it done and that one why not okay ripley in to tear down the liquid cargo tank that's pretty cool pretty cool let's get rid of that as quick as possible waiting for people to come along and do this though this this is kind of my top priority and it turns out it's not their top priorities i suppose cool is going around what about bishop where is bishop bishop was spending his time inside the uh, in the infirmary because he was messing around in the rocket plume yeah look, there he is again Dude, you gotta you gotta stop mucking around in the, the rocket plume. It gets hot. It gets very hot. I'm now realizing we don't need this much storage for the oxygen because it's all coming out of there. What we actually need storage for is the carbon dioxide. Maybe maybe I wanna do another quick re rerouting here. I don't I don't know actually. I don't know. Okay, let's let's try that. We got we got more room going up and around and down. I'm a little concerned about the fact that they're not sending the gases out through the port. I suppose that's because these are still waiting to be built. Ripley, where where are you at? Still running. Okay. Okay, the big question I have now, as well as like, is this going to be filling up nicely into our, our gas tank up here? And, and yes, it is nice and cold. That's good. That's exactly what we want. But more importantly, if I go sweep all and then go, please, for like the highest priority possible, when people move whatever it is they're closest to right now, will they then after that be going in? Yeah, look, all these people just picking up stuff from wherever they're at. That's fine. That's fine. There's a whole bunch of stuff we wanted to move. But the bishop here, I want to know... Bishop and Ripley, are they going to start picking stuff up around very close to them? That's fine. But what about inside here? There's a whole bunch of stuff on the floor, and it is legitimately what's making this place unbearable to live in. So if we if we can pick most of that up, that's what I really need. But we'll we'll see. What happens if I just kind of cancel some of these orders? Oh, well, they go quite far for them. Let's cancel all of these and all of these as well, and just just see what happens. Someone's going in. Okay, this is good. This is good. They've gone in. They're picking stuff up. Beautiful. That's that's what I want. That's what I want. I'm gonna leave this alarm running until everybody has moved everything they can. Okay, very cool. I think they got it all. I think they got it all. Just in time as well, because night's gone down. What? What have we got? What was that exclamation mark about? Telling us we couldn't launch? That's fine. I'm not. I'm not trying to launch. Not yet. Anyway, we're very close to wanting to. Not quite. Oh, I think I think we've got problems with liquids. I mean, that's pretty classic. Pretty classic. If I come up here, have a look, and just kind of cut that off here will this then start flowing them back i kind of hope so at some point i really do we just want to get the liquids out of here before they totally freeze water at minus 2.2 yeah no i'm not about it if it crosses the line to minus three we are actually in trouble thankfully it's all now flowing we can just see little little globs going through okay that's good that's really good Okay, I tried uh, clearing out all the stale gristle berries from here and popping them into the refrigerator down below. This one over here, but we're, we've capped out. We can't We can't do that. So, okay, fair enough. I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go, hey, let's uh, let's turn the controlled system off here and hopefully people can... Oh, I didn't, didn't put it on. Run some stuff up here. No pending deliveries. Okay, that's not as expected. <laughs> Gristleberry and barbecue both last the same amount of time in the uh, in the refrigerator, so I don't really mind which one gets set. Look at all this fresh and stale food. Okay, how about if we put this one as eight and then come into here and put this one as nine? I'll also take barbecue as well. Why not? Why not? Okay, we've got a fridge mostly filled now. We'll let people... Uh, we've got some no pending deliveries. We've got over 100. That may, maybe that's too many calories in here. But you know what I'm going to do? We're going to change the crew. We're going to say, Jonesy, yes, please. Could you please make your way in here? We're going we're to send him off again. We're going to send him off. It's time for a little bit of an adventure. And we're going to go see... I don't know. where. Where's our new destination? Do we want to go here? Do we want to try and make it over this way? That's a four whole hexes. We made it two last time. I'm not sure. I mean, oxygen is what drew drew us back so maybe we'll be able to make it further this time that's my that's my hope that's my plan that is my greatest desire okay here comes jonesy we've got to remember to unequip that gas mask and ask someone to deliver it back i'm sure that will get happening at some point uh, with a jonesy in there i want to change our destination and we're going to again head to the place with the most uncovered parts available the uh, amount of oxygen that we've got in here it's quite low but i think we're okay uh what what have we got fueled 
Uh, oh, surely we're fueled. Wait, 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 wait. No, we've only got half the fuel. Wait, we can, we can deal with this, though. We can deal with this. Go. Gives time for more oxygen to be delivered as well, because as I say, the tank is uh, about a tenth of the way full. Oh, a little bit more now, a little bit more. Could possibly even say, like, a fifteenth. <laughs> a two fifteenths, sorry. Okay, so we're about to hit 100 kilograms. Let's turn that off and see how much gas ends up going into the steam engine from this. I'd, I'd like to know when we're supposed to turn it off. So by this crude estimation, looks like 20 kilograms, roughly. I mean, we, we could probably slightly overfill it but yeah that that looks to be about right okay so who, who's starving what bishop no you're in the toilet but why why do you tell me these problems so when this gets to just under 130 we'll turn the switch off if it's not entirely full i don't think i'm that bothered <laughs> Okay, now seems like the time, 128. Could please get out of that overlay. Let's turn that off and let's see if this fills us up completely. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a look here. 131. 147.9. You know what? We're never going to be able to get just enough out. I, th I think that's good enough and we're going to say, yes, we're going to acknowledge the warnings and we're going to begin the launch sequence. All right, good luck, my friend Jonesy. Good luck. Let's watch this guy take off. I'm, I'm worried about this rocket port loader. It's definitely going to have a little bit of a, a negative impact on that as all of this steam gets fired out of the back. Oh, dude, away you go. Look, look we've got water condensing everywhere. Unfortunately, this water is very, very hot. Let's have a look at the temperature on this, uh, this steel item here. 150. Hopefully, we can cool that down at some point. 160. How hot is the steam? I mean, we only fired it out at 200, so there's got to be a little bit of, of give here. Is that still going up? No, we're coming back down. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Out to the star map, but we can see the flight that is underway. Hopefully, if we have a look inside, Jonesy, uh, I mean, he's doing a pilot at the moment but once he's done his pilot he should go up to the uh, to the table up here uh, to the telescope sorry I, th I thought about the table at the last second you're not grounded hang about hang about hang about let's let's just put that on no for now why why no you're still restricted jo why <laughs> Oh, well, he's, do he's doing a study now. That's good. Let's go to the star map and have a look and see what we've got going. Could I actually click on the star map? Beautiful. Okay, we're un un uncovering this object here. It's going to take us a while, though. Going to take... May maybe I should have just gone straight for this one. Got to figure out what to do with all this water out here. That's it's, a it's a lot. It's a lot. Let's press F4. Yeah, look at all of this steam. Pushing back out a tiny amount of oxygen that we keep leaking out. Oh, well, then the real question, of course, is now what is going to be the limiting factor here? I think maybe food maybe water i'm not sure how how long that's gonna last but we'll, we'll find out we're here to watch so a man jonesy here who was using the telescope in a very funny manner uh he uses about two and a half kilos per cycle we'll say there was about 90 blobs there give or take us a nine by ten so that gives him about or let, let's call it about 400 days to live rounding off to nearest significant digits but whilst he was doing this, we had some research rolling. I want to come over to Sharubi because I want to build some more Radbolt, Radbolt generators, in fact. We want to fire a whole bunch of crossover to a Radbolt reflector, which then moves it down towards the interplanetary launcher's input port here. I'm going to be very intrigued to see whether these wires at the top here can be built, but we'll just see what happens there. Mostly, I'm trying to pull enough power away that this battery isn't always full. Perhaps even sync the Radbolt generators up. Do we do we have... Yes, we have... Uh, oh, it's only about emitting or not emitting Radbolt. Uh, automation input. So, could we run it off of this automation line? This, this one here? Maybe. So, at the ever-growing emergency that is our thimble reeds that are not growing, we're starting to run out of atmospheric docks all... Uh, sorry, atmospheric suits all over Yakil, our main asteroid here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do to try and combat it... I've already put down a space heater. I'm also going to then put a, uh, um, a metal tile down. I mean, they both have ridiculous thermal conductivity. I'm going to go with copper because it's the, <laughs> the rarer metal. Just to double check that it doesn't make too much difference. Thermal conductivity of copper is 60 and for iron, it's 55. Okay, I made a good choice. <laughs> and the copper she's chosen to get is all the way at the top of the map. Okay, fair enough. I, I suppose I did use the panic button. I didn't, didn't ask for thought, I asked for action. 
Okay, we can watch the temperature of that water climbing as we're looking at it. Of course, the uh, the cold water coming from here is increasing the temperature just a little bit, but hopefully still not quite there. We, we need to, to wait and see where this stabilizes. So the problem didn't fix itself overnight, so I'm going for the nuclear option of bringing out the temperature shift plate. We're just waiting for Bishop to finish off this construction. Turns out he needs to grab some more mafic rock as well. I don't know why I chose mafic rock. It said thermally reactive underneath it. I went, yeah, good enough. And hopefully this will then pass the temperature from the space heater itself, 35 degrees C, into this metal tile. Uh, we don't want to go so hot, though, so I've got the uh, the threshold temperature here, the uh, thermometer, set to 23. Because of course the thimble reads only need 22. Okay, it's built. Look at that temperature start to climb already. I am a little bit worried about some of the other pipes and stuff around, but I think we should be fine. Still not seeing this climb up high enough though. 19. It's, it, we're getting there, but it's still not quite. Been increasing this by a degree or two every time because it always seems like we're very nearly there, and then it doesn't doesn't quite get there. Ooh, new planetoid detected. We've discovered uh, Ozatu. Uh, let's uh, go to the star map and have a look at this. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. We can oversee the planetoid. Show, show me. Oh, we can't. Uh, we've got a tungsten volcano. Okay, that's pretty serious. I wish the uh, mouse wheel would not scroll out with me. Okay, space biome, jungle biome, magma, and marsh. Okay, this is interesting, interesting. No details on the property, but we found, we found some stuff. Okay, that, that's good. Might even now change our direction to here. Yeah. We've gone through about 50 kilos, maybe maybe a hundred of oxygen. Hmm. It's one to keep an eye on. Don't want old Jonesy here suffering from uh, suffocation again. Oh, oh, he's disappeared. <laughs> That's that's interesting. Oh, he's, he's got out. Okay, he, he he lives behind the layer. Okay, that's that that's fine. A bit weird. Some polluted oxygen. No, where did it come from? We we can't handle that here. Oh, well, I'm I'm sure Jonesy will breathe it in and it will go. Look, it's got slime lung in it and everything. What? Where? Where? How did he get slime lung? Twelve percent slime lung. Why? Food poison. Oh no, food poisoning. Well, the temperature's trending upwards here, so I'm going to take this as it's going to be good. Let's get back to Sharubi and have a look at what they're doing here. As you can see, we've got all the Radbolt generators in place, which is a little bit bad because none of them are pointing in the right direction. Also, we need to drop some water down, so enable auto bowl so someone, please. Kane, okay, beautiful. Oh, we are, we are running out of just free-flowing potable water. That's okay, because we've got a fair bit just over here. Self-refilling, you know. Yes, yes. But that's that's still it's not the best. It's not the best. All right. Hopefully, we're going to spill enough water out to come down here as well. I was tempted to put a smart. You know what? We might do it anyway. Tempted to put a smart battery here and let some of the water flow down so that this smart battery uh, connected to the main power spline would dictate whether these are on or not. That said, we we totally got the power covered. Want to mind somewhere to put these little rotten berries and stuff that are falling out of here. They are uh, spilling out a bunch of polluted oxygen. And whilst at the moment we've got enough carbon dioxide to just come into this gristle berry uh, to give us a sterile atmosphere every now and then, that's pretty good. At some point there's going to be enough polluted oxygen in here. In fact, all it has to do is take up this space right here uh, and it will uh, increase the amount of spoilage happening. Uh, that's, that's not great. That's not great at all. What is great, though, is how much of the star map we're uncovering. We've got a new obsolete space station module we can go check out at some point, but I really, I just want to uncover all of these. Well, we've had to turn around and start heading back, mainly because actually we're nearly out of fuel. Maybe we could sit here for a little bit, but I've noticed that our gas is also running down incredibly quickly. We've gone through about half of it. The pressure is still holding up here, and we seem to be uh, dealing with the rock pile well enough. But we're not close enough to get any, like, serious telescope work done. So we're going to go back, we're going to refuel, and then we're going to fly out here and... Uh, oh, didn't mean to close the star map. We're going to fly out here and sit here and uncover a whole patch and see what is up with that. For those of you that were wondering if I'd ever get round to it, we've just gone in and dug out some of the uh, the gold that was covering up the gold volcanoes. Hopefully this is going to be a thing that stays as it is and we're not going to end up with some extra tiles reforming. An awful lot of water down here. Turns out I'd left the uh, the auto bottler on. Uh, so we're letting most of that flow through to uh, to, to even out. That, sh that should be fine. We're going to end up with a lot of steam in here. But you know what? I can live with that. 
What I am having trouble living with is the amount of water here. I think what I'm going to do is just put down a liquid pump and then jump it onto this waste pipe. This waste pipe here uh, that should then end up in here, maybe turned into polluted water. I don't know, uh, and get pipe piped out of here. I was getting a little worried about Jonesy, but it turns out he's okay now. We've got him back. We, we were waiting for a little bit, but you can see the carbon dioxide was getting a little bit encroachy here. Uh, I cut the line here because I wanted to keep a little bit of pressure going so that we didn't so that we didn't end up with a completely empty area. We're now refilling the gas. The gas was actually the limiting factor. Aside from fuel, we couldn't have gone out and sat just randomly around without more oxygen. Thankfully, we've got oxygen being pumped in right now uh, I'm probably gonna wait for this to be completely filled up and then send him on another mission probably do that a few times before the end of today your kill really not the best place to be launching from at the moment but it's kind of gonna have to do Okay, last flight for today. We've got about 2,000 kilograms of oxygen at minus 20 degrees C in the tank. We can fly for about 10 tiles. I think this means we are going on a little bit of an adventure. The last one for today, and we're going to fly out to Russell's teapot. See what that's all about. Do you reckon we're going to actually be able to get it? Do I need a cargo canister? Let's see if we can add one of those quickly. Oh, that's going to change our our to weight ratio and what we can achieve but let's let, let's see let's uh add another one what do we have here see now do i need the artifact transport module or the orbital cargo module i think i'm gonna go for the artifact transport i think this might be the winner i sure do hope so now how much have we paid for the benefit ah we still got the same range beautiful Okay, artifact transport module is installed. I think we need to call Jonesy over. It might actually take what I should have done that earlier. Thank you. Nice little checklist here. It's telling me that we don't have enough cargo installed. Uh, it's true, we don't. Oh, what's what's going on with this? There we go. That we're missing center bits to a whole bunch of our stuff. Okay, that's that's a bit weird. Uh, but we've we we're, we're nearly there. I mean, it's good enough to survive for a few days doing a little bit of research. Okay, we just saw Jonesy pop inside here, ready to go. Let's uh, double check that we've got the right right trajectory planned. And do we have to do this from the outside? Can we not go launch from in here? Okay, I, I suppose that's good. I was just a little bit worried that it didn't actually let us do that at all. We're going to acknowledge the warnings of not enough, uh, not enough gas and let's let it go. Any, any moment now. As soon as it fancies it. And there we, there we go, there we go. I'm, I'm again watching the temperature down here on the gas port. Uh, it looks to be okay, 140, 150. Oh, this is getting very hot, actually. Of course, it's only got a top temperature that it can survive of 2,200. Wait a minute, 2,200. How hot did we cook that last one? Wow. Oh, no, we've got no food. <laughs> What do you mean re reload to the morning? That that doesn't sound like something that I would do. No, no, no. Well, actually, we're pretty short of food. What is this? A whole bunch of undelivered bristle berries, like Jonesy's getting in on the act. Okay, so I'm not sure why it wasn't being processed, but things weren't being processed. We're also in the middle of swapping through from uh, sage hatches to stone hatches so that we could actually save some food somewhere along the line. Uh, we're starting off by feeding them sedimentary rock because we've got, we've got a little bit of sedimentary rock, but igneous rock, that is where we are headed. We've got like over a, over a thousand tons just kicking about and if need be we can start tapping power off this magma and then get even more igneous rock. This makes me sad. I feel like there should have been a volcano there and there wasn't. Okay, 36,000 calories. I wonder if that's better. That that should that should ho hopefully last us a little while. I do believe Jonesy only needs a small amount of that's the button I'm looking for there. Uh, a small amount of can we get to Jonesy here? Calories per day. Bishop looking stressed. What the, what's that about? Uh, if we come down and have a look inside uh, Jonesy, we see that's uh, a thousand calories a day. So 35 days out there, he should be fine. Okay, let's uh, 
Let's watch another one, shall we? Yeah, I, I like rocket launches. Who doesn't like a good rocket launch? Thankfully, we know this is going to be safe because we rolled back the time space continuum to uh, to bring us back to this moment. I like the fact that water is condensing against this storage bin. Look at that, minus three, minus two. It's uh, bringing the temperature up quite savagely, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Uh, let's let's wait for Jonesy to get on out there. Four cycles. Okay. Ah, we brought one of the oxygen masks with us. Uh, Jonesy's been running around not breathing in here for some time. Oh, oh, dude, I, I'm so sorry. That's two entire days. Two entire days. That That's horrific. Over on Shirubi here, I've been doing a little bit of work. I've put these uh, carbon skimmers on their own power source. Doesn't seem to be holding a charge, though. We'll have to look into that. Okay, we're on the wrong side of the power shut off. But more importantly, why did that turn off? This, this, this is not a, uh, an optional service. A little bit distracted, increasing the number of carbon skimmers, giving them their own power system. Let's just go ahead and install this one. Oh, it won't do that up there. Fair enough, we'll think about that. We'll, ju we'll just move the shut off down. Yeah, of course, that's that's the easy way. Uh, also now thinking about throwing in an atmosphere sensor and a door. Uh, if if it gets a little bit too thick in here, like, like it is right now, open the door to space. Is it mirrors the number of question marks over here increased? I think it might have. I think it might have. Gas canister still way above 2,000 kilograms. Okay, that's that's great. When this gets down to about one and a half, we should probably think about turning around. It'll be be halfway then, and that'll be give us all sorts of buffer. I mean, we could probably even wait until we're down to about a thousand. New planetoid detected. Oh yeah, this is what we're talking about. Brilliant. Okay, small frozen planetoid with sub-zero temperatures. Got an iron volcano and a bunch of tundra. Along with this guy, with space, jungle, magma, marsh. Okay, that's great. And a tungsten volcano. That is amazing. Just gonna hang around and see. Oh, there we go. We we got we got a thing. We got a thing. Did it, does it, is it gonna show us where it is? I don't know. If we click on here, is it is it here anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Uh, here we go. Artifact, artifact transport module. Encrusted teapot. Beautiful. Oh, a new metallic asteroid field. Beautiful. I remember seeing this oily asteroid field. Okay, that's cool. Crude oil coming in. Oh, that's nice. Also solid methane. Nice. That liquid iron. Oh, on the metallic asteroid field up by our new guy here. Great. Well, Jonesy's kind of just standing around not doing anything. Does this mean... Yes, we've uncovered all of the star map we can get here. Now, we could try and fly on, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's what I'm going to let, let, Let's head back, back to our launch point here, and uh, I think that'll be it for today. Okay, the uh, rocket came down a little bit quicker than I was expecting, to be honest with you. How is the temperature doing down here? Uh, remarkably well. Let's let Jonesy out of there, but also... Uh, <laughs> Where, where are you going? I was expecting you to come right down here. I suppose we should have left Josie in there until the area had cooled down. But Bishop's been having a few uh, a few stress issues. I'm not sure what that's entirely about. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here. Where, where are you? It's got to be here somewhere, right? No, is it not let out yet? Wait, may, maybe we need to build some way of... It. No, it should be... Look, there it is. There it is. How do, how do we get it out of that? Remove. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay. Fair, fair, fair enough. I, I suppose that's fine. Now we can place the encrusted teapot upon the pedestal, and hopefully that should give Bishop a little bit of a uh, of a, a morale boost, because uh, it's not so great around these dead plants. Uh, it, to that end, I've been trying to warm this area up. It's uh, we've only literally only just got started. I, I, I just found that out when we were setting out the pedestal. Uh, so set this to 22 degrees. These guys need to be 20. It's quite cold around here. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next time when we're going to go explore the star... Well, not explore the star map. We're going to make use of the things we found on the star map. Maybe get some of this copper ore and the artifact in hand. Get some of this raw iron. That sounds amazing. And over here, of course, we've got some crude oil. Check out some of these other places that we uh, have discovered. And maybe look at some of the planets. But they're, they're going to take a little bit of attention. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.